I hope it's going. Hey, y'all. I was just making a video, and it was nine minutes in, and motherfucker cut off. So, we're going to shorten this shit up, because I do want y'all to get my point, and I'm so fucking mad at it. YouTube, I don't know why you fuck with the direct upload shit, but kiss my motherfucking ass and chew my drawers. Now, this is a reaction in regards to Justin's video that he watched in regards to how not to react when you're coming out. And, of course, I had to go click and look at it. I'm trying to catch up on the people that I watch because a lot of times I don't get people's videos. And sometimes I have to fucking go to the Facebook and Twitter to even get their videos. And I'm sure that happens with, you know, mine or whatever. I don't know. But I'm, you know, just now seeing And I think he made it the other day. Okay. It's a young man who came out and recorded as he was coming out to his family. And just showing exactly how they react, which was fucked up within itself. Now, we don't know all the dynamics, but we can go on what the fuck we heard. And I will put the link below. Here's my thing. And y'all all know, I talk about Justin all the time. So if you're not fucking subscribed to him, you need to get your ass over there and subscribe. and get easy. Okay. Now, what I want to say is, is I want y'all to understand this. For those parents, and right now this segment is to the parents that when your children come out to you and you decide that you're going to fucking disown them, you are leaving them out there to whatever. I'm saying one minute, you go one second before they say what they say to loving them and ready to lay down your life for them. And then after they say this one thing, you're ready to say fuck them and, and, and you just cut love off. But do you have any clue to the things, and I will speak to the men. The, the the young gay man and the young gay black man because I got to talk to my community. Do you have any idea how abused and used to, you know they can be, and exactly how traumatic they can be, how they can be killed, hurt, gay bash, whatever? They out there hungry. You don't give a fuck about where they laying or nothing. I'm trying to understand that. I knew this type of shit a long time ago because before I had my children, I was a hag. I ain't going to say the rest, but I was and still am. All right? And my best friend was gay, and y'all know that he passed, but I had other gay friends, you know. I just seemed to mesh really well with them. But I knew that I had some, it was 50-50, some that their family had been like, fuck them. And then I had some that well, like, don't let me see it. But I know you gay, but you better not fucking bring nobody here. I can almost deal with them over here better than fuck them. I'm just saying. I can't deal with fuck them at all. Because I don't understand that me being a parent of gay children myself. And y'all know that. I've shared the dynamics of my family with y'all many times. And my children have been on. And more than anything, my children are able to live their fucking truth. But I do know that it's a lot of people that can. With that being said, you got some old ass back to my fucking community. Old ass black man, 50 and 60 years old right now, not able to live their motherfucking truth with, with kids, grandkids, and every motherfucking thing. But come Thursday, mm -hmm. they're going to get out there. Mm -hmm. But we're going to move forward. That's a horse of another color. Okay. When I would let... Brent's friends, and of course Brittany's friends, you know, any of them come to my house, and they would vogue and all of that, and Brittany's always been so supportive of Brent and his vogue, and so have I. And they would come, and they would, you know, vogue, and sometimes it would run late, and, and I would just, I'm going to bed, you know, it's so long I'm going to bed. But the next day, I may wake up to five or six of them still left there. Now, most of them was the regulars that was going to be left there, because they may not have had a place or whatever, may have been shunned or may have been done just like this. And if for a moment they can have a moment of peace and be able to live their truth, get a fucking sandwich, a hot dog, a burger, or whatever the fuck else was cooked, and be able to vogue and be free, then I was glad to do it. When Brent came out, I asked him. It wasn't necessarily that he came to me. I knew. Brittany, I didn't see coming. She went from roller wrap to stud. It was all within a day or two, you know, but it is what it is. With Brent, once he did, I instantly, with both of them, got fearful and scared of what the world was going to do to them. But what I did know, and instead of being like, you know, 
you got to go on this and that and other evading the motherfucking issue. What I did do was, whatever it is, I'm a rag with you. And God help and bless a motherfucker that would try to do something to man because of their who they are. Okay? And I said a long time ago, and I watched my friend and several friends to die. Because, like I said, you know, I had a lot of gay friends and a lot of my gone. You know, I had some that were working and, and, you know, to eat. And they was fucking these old-ass white men and this and that and other. And these old-ass motherfucking church queens, you know, fucking the first lady six days a week and fucking him on that Sabbath. Okay, we'll move forward. See, because now I'm being, okay, we'll move forward. And I've seen them be abused and this and that and other, and I knew that that was horrible. So when my kids came out and said what they said, I'm ready to ride with them and be with them. I cannot cut this shit off. I cannot stop loving them. It made me worry all the more about them. But you can't do that. I'm just saying you can't do that, and I don't understand it. And I say all this to say this, and this is what I want to say to the parents. Take time out to listen to your child and see and find out about the community they're in. I'm still trying to find out about Britney's community because I know less about the lesbians than I do about the gay man. Now, if you ask me to pop and snap and what the trade is, honey, <laughs> a whole bunch of other shit, I'm going to know what that is. But with her community, I'm still trying to find out. Talk to them and try to find out. On the flip side, to young kids coming out, for those parents who are willing to listen, please understand that this is not what you wanted for yourself, and this is not what your parents want for you. So you all have to learn and communicate together and help them to understand. Now, now that we've addressed people that are sane, I will address briefly the motherfuckers that will write off their children. Bitch, please. That You know what? I, I don't have time. You motherfucking... It's all right to be in the Word, and God knows I need to be in it more. But here's my thing. Just because you buy, bought a Bible, bitch, that don't make you the beholder of the motherfucking grand judge. Here, bitch, you bought a motherfucking Bible, bitch. Half you motherfuckers will be in church on Sunday. Come sorry to you bitches are sucking dicks and fucking and drinking and drunk and this and that and other. And like I said, the reverend been fucking the first lady six days out of the week on the Sabbath, whichever day you want to make that be, bitch, you're fucking him. I'm sick of all this judge. I, I, I'm over it. I don't understand it. It's not what you're doing. It's them. You know what I mean? And I don't know how you can cut the love off. So I would say this. Understand that when your child tells you and comes out, she is still your child. He is still your child. That is still the baby that you had, bitch. You're not tarnished. They're not tarnished. This is just what it, the fuck it is. I'm just saying. On that note, y'all, I, I need to get the fuck about it because I'm getting ready to get real upset. But let me know what y'all think. I'm going to put that link below. Much love.